Hey, what's up guys? So this is a follow-up video of HyperOS for Redmi Note 8. I personally don't really like this ROM, but many of you are actually asking me to review this ROM. So I have been using this ROM few days now. As you can see here, the ROM is working sort of. So what we are getting with this ROM uh, about phone. So Redmi Note 8, as you can see, the, all the specification and everything. If we check the detail specs, and we are getting Android 14 with this ROM. The security patch level is also from November, so it's pretty latest. So as you can see here, Android 14. So as a HyperOS build, there are some HyperOS features. So first of all, let's talk about them. So we do have interconnectivity feature. I did try the feature, but it doesn't work actually. I did try with my Poco F5 Pro and with my Pad 6. It doesn't do anything actually, although we do have few options here. So it doesn't work. In terms of Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and other networks, I'm only having issue with Wi-Fi. So if I go to Wi-Fi section, as you can see, it is connected on 2.4 GHz network. So now if I search my other networks, as you can see here, it is getting 5 GHz network too, but the network signal is pretty low and I can't really connect to my 5 GHz band here. But my other devices working perfectly fine. Even my older devices from 2014 or 15, they are also connected with 5G network so let me show you so this one is pretty old 2015 lava device so it, as you can see here it is connected to a 5 gigahertz network so kind of strange that this ROM is having some issue with 5 gigahertz band but I did try phone calls Bo LT and other things those are working perfectly fine no issue with them so more connectivity option we do have few other option portable hotspot setup portable hotspot we do have both band sharing 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz so they are there going back wallpaper and personalization so we do have few features here as you can see here we do have AOD and as you can see AOD is working you can change it also and there are few options in AOD so if we go to AOD section so we do have display items we can get it for always for 10 seconds or smart or there are few other options I personally don't really like AOD even in my AMOLED panel devices, I never use AOD. I don't really need that, but it's still it is here, but it is not really that useful for IPS screen devices. It's going to consume a lot of battery. We do have themes, wallpaper and icon and font section, but we are getting only Chinese theme here because this one is actually ported from Chinese ROM. So as you can see here, but we don't really have any kind of ads here. It's really good in terms of ads. Actually, you will not see any kind of ads on this ROM. If you go to log screen section, we do have few options here, as you can see here, raise tab, walk, double tap, typical hyperverse uh, features, notification and status bar, typical hyperverse, and you can change actually, control center style, as you can see here, new one or old one, so those are available, and in the home screen setting, so we do have a lot of setting here, as you can see here, we have vault, we have home screen search bar, bloody search bar, a lot of things actually as you can see here we can choose the grid and other things so there are a lot of features in terms of customizing the home screen so those are available display and brightness typical Xiaomi feature nothing much display resolution FHD plus these things doesn't work although the options are there reading mode advanced texture those are available in terms of fingerprint and face data both of them works perfectly fine but both of them are really slower side so let me show you so if I touch it now so as you can see it is not really like instant so as you can see it takes time and now it is taking less time but when you are not using a device for few minutes or 10 or 15 minutes after that it takes two or three seconds to unlock most of the time and both of them actually works safety and emergency features few other things privacy security those things are there and in terms of battery there are few features which I really like first of all we have current mode so i put it on performance mode just to check how it is running and in terms of actually performance it is not really that great you can see that pretty much slower side and if you are coming from a aosp rom like cr droid evolution x or infinity x rom you're going to be frustrated using this rom but if you are using from a miui maybe you will not see the difference as for me this rom is pretty much useless so battery protection feature also there like you can see the number of charging cycle and also smart charging option which will stop charging after 80% that's a really good feature 
and also there is another feature which I have seen it is like charging option so you can see wired charging we can get it top speed or standard speed maybe this one is for fast charging but whenever you plug the charger it will show the like it is charging fast even in a standard charger like 10 watt charger also it will show the fast charging logo and also google these things are a bible additional setting we do have few settings here so we have gesture shortcuts launching google assistant taking screenshot so these are working uh, double tap to turn on the torch a power button and there is a double tap to fingerprint sensor to do something else but uh, this feature actually doesn't work so let me choose launch camera now if i double tap nothing's happened so it doesn't work or doesn't do anything maybe in feature build they will fix these things and also we do have a led light option and few other options so those things are available so that's all what you are getting in the android setting going back in the home screen as you can see here Notification panel is something like this, pretty much similar to Hyper OS. In terms of application, it did not come with a lot of application actually. It is heavily deploaded ROM. I did install few applications here like Photos, Safety Net Checker, and also Gcam and Call of Duty just to check performance. So, in terms of camera, the cameras are working perfectly fine. So, this is the built in camera here, and it does come with few features like Leica option like authentic and like a vibrant and also all the lenses are working 0.6 2x these are working perfectly fine so in terms of camera camera is working flawlessly i haven't faced any kind of issue here and also we do have typical xiaomi option like 48 megapixel panorama and other things and in terms of gcam gcam is also working so as you can see here gcam is working here so gcam is working you can switch between the lenses and this working so cameras are working perfectly fine no issue with that we do have google photos unlimited storage so if i go to setting as you can see here account storage unlimited so you can upload unlimited photos on your google account no issue and in terms of safety net so here are some issues i'm facing first of all safety net doesn't work here so you can't really use any kind of bank application so it is failed as you can see here and if i check the google play protect certification so that's also not a bible so you might face some issue with app compatibility because of not having the google play protect certification so these issues are here in terms of usability the rom is working perfectly fine as i said i haven't faced any kind of major issues i did say that the fingerprint and face unlock in the slower side and also the wi-fi doesn't handle 5g band well so that's is also issue and also you can't really use bank application here and the ui is a little bit cluttery as you can see it is not really that fast it feels slow as you can see here the animations are slow and in terms of gaming the gaming is surprisingly good i did play call of duty here you can get basic idea of how this rom going to perform in terms of gaming so the gaming is handling pretty well i would say it is doing pretty much what you can expect from a redmi note 8 device so the gaming performance was pretty good but in terms of overall performance still i don't really like the rom although we do have a lot of features like even the lock screen feature also we do have all the typical lock screen feature as you can see here we are getting all the options here but still i don't really like the rom because it feels laggy or feels slow so that is the main issue of this rom rather than that it is pretty much usable if anyone wants to try i will put the rom link in the description below and also flashing this rom is pretty straightforward just install the twrp and flash the rom it's pretty easy and the rom works actually i haven't faced any other issues so that's all about this rom thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next one